Well, what Dallas Braden was alluding to is the fact that Chris Bassett has pitched extremely well against the Tigers and especially at Comerica Park. Three and one. Castro, a little flare could be trouble and it's going to fall for a hit. loriano has got a chance to get the force at third and he wow. did. Wow. Grossman just did not read it very well and he was not able to get to third. And Loriano saw it right away. Grossman couldn't read it. The A's laser did read it perfectly and it's a little surprising because it was close enough but Ramon came up on that bullet throw to third base. What a huge out for Chris Bassett and the athletics got a little bit turned around went back. That's what got him right there. Slipped as he went back to second and then tried to reverse his direction and could not get there and brings up Wilson Ramos uh, or the baseball was going to drop and there we base go. hit into left field Candelaria will be held at third first four now have reached an opportunity here for Harold Castro who's got great numbers of Chris Bassett Castro swinging and a miss and crazy inning Bassett gets out of it Matthew Boyd pitching for Detroit today. It's his fourth start. He's been very good so far, two and one record. And he's making his third career start against the Athletics. Got in on him. Jam job pop Get up. Get in there. Badu will make a nice right, sliding boy. grab in right field. Throw back to first. They had a chance, but the throw was offline. Akil Badu has made two fine running plays. One deep, one shallow. They have to go down and slide. And still stays focused because their body is getting a little bit of a bump when they hit the ground. But Badu with great focus there. He watches it all the way into the glove. Three hit game. Yeah. So another strikeout. He's now struck out five times in this series. So that is out number one. Badu gets caught with him. High fastball, 96 miles an hour. Bassett strikes out the side in the top of the second inning. So here's Loriano. Loriano drives with the center, hit well. Reyes back, still back. Reyes off the wall, can't get it. Cannon heads for third. Coxey's going to wave him home. He's going to score. Laser to third. He's in there with a triple. Well, second time through the batting order and base hit to left field. High fastball to Lariano. And if it hadn't been for the two mile per hour wind blowing in, that might have been a home run. Sit off the wall. Mark Canna reading it perfectly. Got near second base, saw the ball come off the wall. Then let's go. And then picks up Mark Kotze, who sends him. And you're right, Kai. Laser all the way. He had triple on his mind as soon as he hit the ball and saw the ball come off the wall. Maybe a base hit. Harold Castro singled his last time up. 800 career batting average against Bassett. Yes. Shot, base hit into right field. Candelario's in. Willie Castro yes, right behind him, and it. the Tigers take the lead in the sixth. Harold Castro delivers the lead. Well, you ask and you shall receive. Harold stays hot against Chris Bassett. And he gets a pitch he can handle, I think. And it's been a formula for success for Matthew, and he's really been consistent through four starts so far. The pitch count is low. Went seven last time out, swinging a lazy fly ball to right. Kilbadu makes the easy play. Shot to first. Castro gobbles it up for the second out of the seventh inning. Two down in the bottom of the seventh. Matt Chapman, the batter. Swing and a miss. He got him with a fastball above the strike zone. Matthew Boyd goes through the three, four, five hitters with ease in the seventh, and he's cruising to the eighth with the lead. Sean Murphy leads off for the A's as two to one Tigers, bottom of the eighth inning. That is smoked to left center field. Nobody's going to get it, and that baby's gone. This game is tied just like that. Boyd with a little bit extra on it, and Sean Murphy said, throw it. Aramis Garcia hit a home run yesterday, giving the A's catchers one. Now they have two because Murph just crushed it. Line drive. 
The pitch by Boyd. Now the one two to Garcia. Way inside hit him. Wow. Aramis got hit. And that's the second hit batter. And Tony Kemp will check in. He's five to left and five to center. Kemp hits it hard in the right field of base hit. Toward the line, it'll allow Tom to get easily go all the way around the third. And the A's have first and third one out with a chance to take the lead here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Yeah, and of course, right. he's not out of the woods yet. We still have Ramon Laureano here with runners now at second and third as Tony Kemp did take off, did get to second base, so he's there. The pitch. Got him on strikes. Beautiful. Electric fastball. It's another new pitcher for the Oakland Athletics. They're bringing their closer, Lou Trevino, out of the bullpen to face Harold Castro. Take note. There it is. A little flare single into left. Three hits for Harold Castro. A three for four day. Go ahead, run at third with two outs in the ninth. Trevino throws. Swung on and missed. Gets him with a fastball 97. Harold Castro left at third. The Tigers failed to score. Some clutch pitching by Lou Trevino. Olsen coming up. And now here's the 1 1 pitch on the way. Swung on and popped up. Short center going out. Willie Castro. Reyes can't find it. Can't see it. And it drops. And Olsen goes to second with a double. And the old Coliseum son strikes once again. How do you like that? A helpless feeling the center fielder Victor Reyes had no idea. So it will be Moreland. Moreland steps in against Soto. Toward the left side. Through into a field of base hit. Here comes Olsen. Here comes Grossman strong to the plate. Not in time. And the A's walk it off for their eighth consecutive win. It's a 3-2 final today.